Hey guys, welcome to You Can Fix Anything. Today we're going to talk, be talking about bridged mode, uh, running our amp in bridged mode. So, first of all, what is bridge mode? Um, in our standard setup of a amp, with if we're using speak on speak on cables, the standard setup's somewhat like this. We're going to have an amp. It usually has two channels, and uh, one speak on cable is going to head to one channel one to the next, okay? So it's just two cables running to each of the speakers. Now these cables are running within them two wires, a positive and a negative, and uh, that's what's powering each of these speakers, okay? That's our standard setup. So very common, um, you know, we could have one of these amps here. In this setup, I'm running the, uh, the QSC here and it's powering uh, one of these speakers each. Okay. Now, if I want to power the sub with my extra amp, I can, I could just use half of it if I wanted to. So I could just take half, run it to a channel, and then the other half would just be, you know, available to do whatever. But in this case, um, I want to run it in bridge mode. So you can see this is in bridge mode. So what does that mean? Um, that means that I'm taking both channels and uh powering a single speaker with both of those channels okay now you might ask yourself how do i do this with speak on cables there's lots of diagrams online of uh running it with just normal plus and minuses and you're basically just running the pluses but how do you do that with speak on okay so i mean here's kind of similar to the diagrams you might see uh here's your amp left and right channels and we're running taking both the positive channels and running it to the speaker, but one of them is inverted. Um, so they're basically pushing the same single, but one is um, pulling the other direction. So this allows for the, uh, you could to get double the wattage and cutting the ohms in half, because now you have two um, connections here. So you can theoretically gain four times the power, all right? So if we look here on the uh, spec sheet for the, this amp, I've got the Crown XLS 2500. So four ohm, when I get, these are four ohm speakers. Well, the sub is um, 775 watts. So if I put a single channel in, it's at 775. But if I run four ohm bridged, that's 2400 watts, all right? So it's nearly four times as much power. All right, but how do we how do we do this with the speak on cable? All right, and that's what I'm going to show you. Um, okay, so for speak on speak on cables have uh, four possible wires that come out of them. So if I take the speak on cable apart, you can see one, two, three, four. Okay, now these most speak on cables are just going to be wired up to a positive and a negative on the it's called the plus one minus one channel if you will but they also have available the plus two minus two channel and we're going to need to utilize the plus two channel in the speak on cable to get uh bridge mode to work all right so you could um you could make this with your own cable if you shifted it from uh, plus one and then this one to plus two, then you would in effect be creating the necessary connection for um, mono bridge mode. Now, another thing you can do is they sell a cable. You can just buy it um, that does it for you. So. This is already wired to run plus one and plus two into the, uh, from a single channel. Now, you need to be sure on your receiver that this is the uh, way that it's meant to be run. Because different receivers might, uh, they, they could run it a different way where maybe you would need to put just a single wire from each channel um, and, and make sure it's inverting the one of the singles there. Um, but in this one, for example, it's... Use, it's expecting it to plug into just one. And I'll show you in the back how it shows us. That. Okay, so here's our crown amp here. Here's my input. And here's my output channel. Now you can see here, 
that it's got these numbers for the different um, channels. You can see it's channel two is just a plus one minus one, but this one has a parallel wiring. It's got the plus two uh, and the minus two and the plus one and the minus one both running to this thing. Now, so that's meaning that this channel two is accessible by this plug um, on the plus two minus two or two plus two minus um, wiring, okay? So, and as I've said for bridge mono, you need the one plus and the two plus, and you don't need the one minus or the two minus, okay? So this wire is set up that way, and then it's going here, and then this one is running over to my sub, which can handle more than 775 watts. So now when I, I can run this and I will be able to uh, have bridged mono mode um, working. And there's a way you can, you can test it to, to show that it is in fact working. I'll show you that here. Okay, so it's in bridge bypass right now. Now, the way I know that this is working for um, bridge is if I go and I reset this um, to um, stereo, you'll hear that the, the bass will cut in half. Um, so I'm going to, so if you hear it now, you see that this channel is no longer on and it's quieter. So now if I go back, um, I guess kind of hear the song, but you can hear that it, once it turns back on, the bass is a lot louder. All right, and that, again, that's theoretically pushing four times the wattage out. You can see that this isn't on and it's still getting that single there. So um, that's how you do bridge mono mode with uh, speak on cable. So yeah, it's a really good, um, really good add to your audio system. Then, you know, we get the full system here if we, uh, turn on the other stuff here. So anyway, so if you found anything useful, uh, please like and subscribe and, uh, yeah, have fun, uh, Blowing away your neighbors with the extra power.